Okay, y'all so i'm looking at my video as i'm editing it and i'm like oh she <laughs> i'm really about to like show y'all one of my vulnerabilities at the moment and it's kind of like making me feel some type of way i did want to um share like what's going on in this video but I just had a feeling like YouTube was going to flag me for copyright reasons because we were listening to music in the background and it was kind of loud. I don't know like how that worked. And so far, I'm doing good with the copyright, so I'm going to keep it that way. So, yeah, um, right now she's just cleaning my face up before we get ready to do the laser hair removal. She gave me the fan because she said it was for deep breathing so you can relax. And I'm just adjusting so she can get ready. And um, that's Jordan, y'all. She helped me this time. Last time it was Cheyenne. I hope I'm saying their names correctly. But both of them are super sweet. And I recommend them for your services. They're very knowledgeable. And, um... Yeah, okay, she's still getting me tidy up. Oh, my God, look at my chin. I really got my chin out. Oh, my God. But um, <laughs> I just wanted to make reference to, like, what I'm feeling right now currently with this vulnerability. vulnerability. Um, It made me think about the episode of my favorite cartoon when I was young as told by Ginger when uh it's the Frizzy Lizzie's episode when she um 
she had hairy legs and that was like her biggest secret because her mom wouldn't let her shave or remove her hair until she was a certain age and so um <laughs> Miranda got her best friend to tell her her deepest darkest secret by mistake so when her best friend told Miranda Miranda kind of used it as like um blackmail on Ginger so she ended up trying to figure out all the ways that she could remove the hair and um even her friends they tried to waxy they tried to shave it and everything so she was just like nah don't worry about it like so that was one of her troubles and she was like should I just embrace it or what so they found out a solution to just shave half her leg. So when Miranda got ready to drop the bomb on her, she was going to just show half her leg and be like, yeah, what you was talking about? <laughs> so, like, yeah, I just had to make reference to that because that's kind of how I'm feeling right now. It's like, <sighs> I live in America. I live in a world where everybody has a certain type of aesthetic for what beauty should be. And at the end of the day, I can't help what grows on my body. I'm a human being. And at the end of the day, I can only be me, change what I can change, and accept what I can't. And so this is my second appointment out of eight. My third one is coming up very much soon. And I'm excited because I think I'm seeing growth already like I'm not used to this shaving they got me doing. I usually would, like, just pluck the hair all the way out, but I noticed, like, it was growing back stronger and came in back with a force. So they got me shaving. I do feel some type of way about the shaving, but I trust them. I trust the process and anything I do. I know this is just a part of my journey. And so I have no choice but to just be excited about it and wait for the outcome probably late October when I finally see a difference in change and yes y'all um yeah this mean this what this what your girl this what got your girl in the chokehold right now as far as like the confidence besides like the PCOS period and like me still being chubby when I know I don't want to be anymore like this really got me in the chokehold cuz I don't like it. I don't like I don't like it. I don't like the fact that it's growing on my face and it's giving very much masculine energy. Like people are already being saying I've been hard body and stuff like that and I'm trying to just let soft life come pick, grab me by the hand and just say, Come on, sis, it's time to go. It's time to go. Enjoy this soft life. So I'm doing everything in my power to just get my life on track like it's starting within and that's why I don't mind sharing because I know that my journey can help somebody too because I know I'm not going through this alone by myself I know like it's somebody out here in the world like don't even know where to start and Sure, I hope that my video just be placed upon them and see, like, you know, you got options. It's things for you to do to, like, get your com confidence back. Because we women and we like, we, not, we like to look good. We like to feel good. Like, a lot of people can say, oh, you know, self-care don't just come from, you know, looking pretty and stuff like that. But to me, I beg to differ. Because when I feel good on the outside, I vibrate higher and that make me want to continue being a good person. Like, whole time, not only am I just getting, like, physical things done, shoot, I'm looking for a therapist. I'm looking for a counselor, somebody that I can really talk to, like, outside of my mama or outside of my best friend. At the end of the day, I know that God not giving me nothing that I can't handle. I know that like it's purpose in my pain and every adverse piece of adversity that's thrown at me. I know that it's a lesson for me to learn so that my next generation can be wiser throughout the mistakes that I made and the choices that I made as well. So yeah, y'all she wrapping it up, wrapping it up and just watch how I hop up off this table, like, 
you can automatically just feel the energy of your femininity just kick in because you feel good. Like, yes, my confidence is back. And I love that it don't take no time. Just watch. Just watch this, y'all. Who? Okay.